What it do? It's your dude Osmo back at it again with another reaction. You feel me, man? Hey, I just want to say, man, I've been feeling all the love, man. I just got a comment that really just literally made my day. You know who you is, man. If you want a shout out, just let me know. But I just want to let you know you made my day. You made me want to be like, you know what? Let me give a bonus video. Because I already got some videos lined up. But I was like, let me make a bonus video. So that's what y'all are getting. Because of, of one special hero, you guys are getting an extra video today. And I wanted to do a little something, something a little different. I got... um blind dates i know you guys love cheaters so i'm like let me do another old school classic what i used to sit here and watch the show all night you know what I'm saying so i know some gems in here so let's get to it let's do it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like that's if you like the content if not keep it pushing simple as that but hey let's let's do it let me stop talking i just want something that can handle me jen's ready to go wild so the question is, is, are you wild enough? Am I wild enough for you? Will she take him along for the ride? Are you a dirty girl? Sure. Uh-huh. Plus. You haven't had sex in three years. Nope. Wow. Pretty three crazy, huh? years. Damn, three years? That's like that. That's when you're young. Like, I don't know. Three years? Oh, damn. It's a long time. <laughs> I guess, I mean, the human body can get used to anything, right? Is this guy's dry spell finally over? Would you like me to send out the taken message? I would love it. It all begins now. <laughs> On Blind Date. That's not it, bro. That's not it. Hey, everybody. I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome again to Blind Date, the show where dating's most embarrassing moments live forever. Let's get to it. And first up, we'll meet Nicolette and Mike. Now, Nicolette's an aspiring model who <laughs> likes guys to give her lots of attention, which is rare for a model. Her date, Mike, works in real estate, and apparently, he knows the secret to attracting the ladies. Women like me because I'm a listener and because I remember things. I demand a decent amount of attention. I just want to know, you know, everybody wants to know that they're wanted. I look for... <laughs> classiness, uh, someone who can carry themselves. I think nerdy guys are really cute. I'm a white boy with rhythm. I would love to be around somebody with a little bit more ambition. This fool said he a white boy with rhythm. <laughs> that line alone should just let you know, like, he gets no girls, bro. Like, what the fuck? I've been told that I am the perfect boyfriend type. Well, then let's hope Nicolette takes advantage of this golden opportunity. We're 30 now, Damn, and our lives ads. are trash. Train me. I can't wait to get ads on my... You feel me? Damn. I need I need a thousand subs. Go ahead and hit that subby button right now. Now. Please. Thank you. I appreciate that. We're running out of board games to drink, too. With friends, help each other out. What is, what is this? <laughs> Damn. No, they did not just do my boy like that. I was kind of saying the same thing, but bro, they went out of pocket with it, bro. Like low key disrespectful how they how they did them. Hi, Mike. Nicolette. Hey, Hi. how you doing? I'm doing good. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to go for a walk? Sure. All right. I love going on a walk. Excellent. Um, Yo, I just want to say, look at just look at how she's dressed. You can tell this is early two thousands, bro. She got a uh, I don't even know what you even call that hat, but that shit used to be the hat to wear back in the day, like back in like two thousand four, two thousand five. That was the hat. I do a lot of different things. Uh huh. Because you said you sing, so uh, I sing and I do modeling and acting. And That's great. Whatever. And I'm a student back in Seattle. Uh huh. <laughs> so what do you do? Uh, I'm in real estate. Oh, yeah, been doing that since the beginning of the year. Can I take a call? Is that all right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hello, this is Nicolette. Mm. I'm only in town until the 13th. 13. Yeah, and then I'm doing a project in Beijing, so I'll be in China for three months. Damn, she traveled, bro? Like, I would've been like, damn, she she doing things. What am I doing? 
Beijing. She already traveling the world. Like, what the hell? Bro, you need to, you need to scoop her up, bro. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Joyce. Welcome to my studio. Thank you. Hey, you know, Mike. Hi, Mike. Why do you play her like Nicolette. that? Nicolette. Nicolette. Okay, well, Danny we're going to make a plate today. Excellent. Yeah. It's going to do half an inch. And don't crush it. It's all on the spot, you know. Okay, we can save that for something else later. Okay. All right, Nicolette, this is uh, for you. Oh, okay. thank you. Good job. Oh. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> You've earned it. Thank you. It's beautiful. That was very thoughtful. Very thoughtful. You. You're welcome. <laughs> her phone is blowing up. You know what's crazy about this though? Her phone blowing up, and this is like not even nowadays. Like nowadays, I've been like, okay, yeah, people like you know, people begin all kinds of messages from Instagram. Facebook, regular phone, like so many different ways to call a person nowadays. Like my phone be blowing up some days. I'd be like, damn, like, I got like ten calls today, and only two of them were scams, you know. But like her shit blowing up back in the early two thousands, like she was popping already. So, do you want to hear some of my beatboxing? Well, I would love to hear beatboxing. Okay. I'll kick it. Uh, Smooth at first, okay? It's smooth, I. Yeah. Okay, hold on, man. <laughs> he really thought it would be cool to start beatboxing in the middle of a date. Like, this is why he ain't had none in three years. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just say this, man. I'm gonna just say this. No dude goes three years. <laughs> Look at her face. No, no, no dude goes three years without having sex on purpose. It's not on purpose, bro. I don't give a fuck what no guy says, dude. No guy. Ever. Unless, uh, unless he was literally like a Buddhist monk or some kind of monk. It's the only reason, bro. Not even the Amish. <laughs> Her phone blowing up. Do you mind if I take it? So that's, thank you very much. Super. <laughs> Haven't done that in about seven years. <laughs> This flower for you because you love flowers. Mm, I do so I try love to be, flowers you know, in my hair. Bro, don't ever give flowers on the first date. I say you don't, you don't ever give flowers to like. It's gotta be like a month into the relationship. It's gotta be like you giving a flower like flowers early. That just it seems desperate, bro. That's right. mm. yeah. Ooh, romantic. It's not a rose, so you won't be, you know. Do you know what the difference is between putting it in your, this year or this year? I actually don't educate me. Right side. Uh -huh. means you're single. Okay. Left side means you're taken. Oh, wow. So, I guess, well, tonight I'm hanging out with you. Technically, I'm single. Right. But would you like me to send out the taken message? I would love it. Okay. Definitely. And that would be the left side. Excellent, excellent. There you go. Very cool. <laughs> Smooth. It's very That's yeah, all right. I can be a little bit clumsy. I don't care. It's all right. <laughs> I'm kind of clumsy, too. Get cable free Dude is TV legit a brick the in the game, bro. Hustle. He's Using literally TV. that clumsy. He's just anytime. a whole square. Everything you touch, yeah, you can let it in. Build your... Would you love to go out again? Yeah, I'd love to yeah. hang out. I would like hang out. You're a cool guy. Hang out. Oh. Cool guy. She literally just friend zoned on. I, I already know she's not going to go. Like, she literally said, we can hang out. Hang out. Oh, my God. Bro, hang out. <laughs> she didn't say we can go out. We can go out for a date. She said, we can hang out. Y'all, it's done. Over. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we can go out dancing? Yeah, I love dancing. We definitely go out dancing. Yeah. So we'll see what happens, you know? Maybe later tonight we can go out or tomorrow night or Friday night. <laughs> I kind of made plans to go out for Filipino food later today. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some of my friends are getting married. And I'm going to miss their wedding because I'll be in Beijing. She did. She did. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got yeah. to do that. Oh, it's Come on. It's a shot. <laughs> Damn. 
Yo, she cold. She cold, bro. She did switch it back over. Oh my god. I haven't had a girlfriend for a long time, like three years. Really? Yeah, a long time. Really? Wow. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, well, a long time. Three years. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I've, I've been with that boyfriend for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said like years. a month. I ain't had three sex years. in a month. You haven't had sex in three years. Nope. Wow. Pretty crazy, huh? That is pretty crazy. Yeah. I think. It just doesn't happen. Where's your My phone? My phone's being really loud. Do you mind if I take it? Do I mind? Not at all. Okay. Hello? Damn, like, the beta male vibes, bro. Yo, it's just funny because, like, I feel like I used to be a beta male, like, back when I was, like, 14, 13, 15. Like, I used to be beta male, bro. But, like, when you get older and you understand how, how everybody moving, not just dudes, girls, everybody moving crazy as hell, bro. You just got to learn, like, you ain't got time for it, bro. If she's sitting here answering the phone, you need to speak up. Be like, hold on, like... It's supposed to be me and you time right now. Why you pick up the phone? Like you need to, you need to stand up for yourself. At least say something. Don't just like, oh yeah. Like say something, bro. Hi. Hi. What's up? Great. Very nice to meet you. Have a great night. Okay. <laughs> Please write me every day. <laughs> you are clowning. Clowning. Wait, did he get a kiss? Wait, I missed it. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Did he get a kiss? No. Oh. Yo, I will give him points that he actually went for it. Then he actually went for it. That kind of caught her off guard. She was like, "Whoa, he actually went. like damn." Like if he would have came with that same energy through the whole day, it would have turned out better. Bye. She was kind of surprised. taken any more cell phone calls how rude <laughs> but amazingly mikey had no problem with it and we'll get to the amazingly see, portion man. of our show when we come back up next you can get him off in 30 seconds you can get a kiss the game's daters play how about uh get a bend over slap on the j-lo booty <laughs> that's next Hold on, I will say, you can be a little too freaky, you know, like, sometimes to being too freaky can be a turnoff. Like, I don't know, maybe to the wrong, to the, I mean, that, that's the time guys, to me, it can be a turnoff. Like, I'm gonna just say that, I'm gonna out of the book. Like, what the hell are you out here just ass naked for? Like, you for everybody. This is an ad? What is this? Get me out of this, please. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it just doesn't happen. Made with the world's smoothest vodka real plus ass. real crazy. juice. Got the new White Claw Vodka Soap. Got me twice. Who is this nigga? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, they ain't gonna show him twice. And evidently Dude, it's hideous. not happening here either, pal. I think Mike's dry spell lives on. My first impression of Mike, I saw him from behind at the pier and I kind of thought he looked like this movie star I'm a fan of. And then he turned around and I was like, mm, not quite. She's yeah. definitely an attractive girl. If he visited me in Beijing, Ooh. I think it'd be fun. We'd go clubbing a lot, but I still wouldn't have sex with him. Wow, she was very cute, very energetic, very attractive. He was a year too Damn. old, maybe an inch too short. <laughs> She brought out the rhythm in me. I don't know what to say. I'll see Mike again, but maybe not in a romantic fashion. I would like to see Nicolette on a second date romantically. Yeah. I like leading guys on. I was, just, I, was just, I was just about to say that. She said, I. she basically said she about to use him as a squeeze toy. Like, she about to ski, squeeze what she can out of him and just be, you know, saying right there just to tease him and get shit out of him, bro. He looked like he ready to give her the world, bro. And she's like, man, I'm not going to pass that up. Scandalous. And I think it's fun when they want me and I feel desirable. It makes me feel sexy as a woman. In other words, the woman's a tease. All right, now let's move on to meet our next couple, Jennifer and Emery. Jennifer is a computer programmer who says she's ready to settle down with the right guy. And we're hoping that's Emery. He actually told us he's like catnip to the ladies. You gotta love the confidence. I'm a good catch because I'm intelligent, I'm attractive. I'm just a confident woman that 
knows what I want. I kind of sense what's going on with, with them, what they're thinking before they even need to say anything. One of my negative traits is I'm really impatient. I don't like to waste my time. Uh, I don't normally wait for sex. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's more up to the girl. You know, whatever she wants is, is cool. Well, yeah, I mean, it's usually better if she's into it. Good <laughs> yeah. luck, guys. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Blind date. I'm Jen. I'm Emery. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Oh, I this she come off hella aggressive already. Look who she came. This is like a TV show blind date. This is not even like a like personal like. She came to a TV show blind date in the tightest little skirt, and she gave him a kiss and hug right off the back. He did give her flowers. She's giving beta male right off the back. Thank you. He licked his lips, so he licked his fucking lips. <laughs> I do um, a lot of flash website design, so it's it's a great life. I just, you know, I work a certain amount. If I need to keep working, I'll keep working. Otherwise, I take a little vacation. Yeah, yep. We actually took five months off last year. Oh, nice. And yeah. went to Costa Rica and traveled around with some friends. Oh, wow. I think I'm yeah. done for a little while. Did you see what that said? That was hilarious. Just settle somewhere, build my fortune. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, and then travel, then travel the world. Actually, this year I just quit my traveling job so that I could oh. be more local. It's funny, like, that nigga literally just said, like, what every girl wants to hear out of the, of a dude. Like, if a dude ever does talk during the date, they want to hear what he just had said. I literally barely work. I don't do anything. I go on vacation all the time, and I make a lot of money, and I'm stacking my fortune. Literally, all you got to say during the date, if you do say anything. Hey, you guys like competition? Yeah. Of course. Okay, well, what's the prize? How about I uh, get a bend over slap on the J-Lo booty? <laughs> He <laughs> really hard. He's got it. <laughs> He's really going there. Alright. Hands up on the, on the little things here. I assume a good position there. Let me lift this up. Line it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you really did that. <laughs> Yeah, Hollywood. So I heard a rumor that you're a master of the one-handed bra takeoff. Yeah, I've been um, remarked at that I can take a, a bra pretty quickly. Do you think you can do four bras in 30 seconds? Four bras? Where's the fourth? Fourth is right here. You need your help with this. All right. But uh, if you can get them off in 30 seconds, you can get a kiss. All right. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Oh, yeah. One hand in this one too. Yo, yo, that's actually impressive. I'm not gonna lie, but I'll be fumbling, bro. I can't. One hand, I gotta, I gotta see, bro. <laughs> I gotta see. I'm not gonna cap, bro. I'll be fumbling back there, bro. The hell? Yeah, it's Seventeen seconds. So, so I get a kiss, right? Me too. Like, this day, this day pretty much already over, bro. Like, he was just like, hey, let's go Netflix and chill at this point, bro. Like, come on. Well, I guess you can still have some fun. Let's go have some fun, too. Okay. I guess. When do you see yourself having kids? Soon, hopefully. <laughs> You're Soon. looking for it, huh? I'm ready to settle down. Really? I guess women are more, like, aren't you more eager? My grandfather tells me that it's easiest to have babies when you're 26. 26. Yeah, so I'm over the hill now. <laughs> Basketball is back. This show's actually Watch the funny, action live man. with YouTube Damn TV. Ads. Try it free. YouTube Premium. If you're a homeowner in California, ads, you won't have bro. to pay your electric bill ever again. Let me explain. If your What's zip she codes. About? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Who write this shit? This is hilarious. So how are you feeling anyway about our our date? Our blind date? That's a good question. I'm just seeing what happens. I'm just hanging out and uh, I don't know. I, I... What? Yo, that was like literally the last thing I thought he was going to say. Like, her face is like, what the hell, bro? Dating somebody right now. Damn. That literally just blows. What? He kissed her and everything, bro. That, that's, he literally belongs on Cheaters. I'm, he, we, we watching the wrong show. What the hell? And, um, I guess, I guess I'm just, yeah. So the question is, is, are you wild enough? Am I wild enough for you? You haven't seen a, a feather of wild. Yet. A feather of wild. Yeah, I um, I haven't come out of my element yet. No. It's it takes still more drinks. It takes drinks to be wild. No, that's um, it's you. Know, you don't want someone that's gonna be like lame and kind of just. I just want someone that can handle me. <laughs> You're a dirty girl. Are you it's funny how, should I even say all this, man? It's funny how girls will say stuff like this, but don't even back it up. That's all I'm, I'm going to say. you dirty girl. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I had a great time tonight. Literally told her that he has seen someone. He belongs on Cheaters. It's hilarious, bro. This episode was funny. See ya. Damn. She, damn, she flipped it. Flipped it on his ass. In there talk about know. pulling the plug maybe it had something to do with the fact that emory's dating somebody else an interesting post date awaits coming up freaky is as freaky as freaky is he's nah, got a no nah, fam who is this guy <laughs> who what what two people got together and made this man, bro? This dude look funny as hell. Freaky way with words. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. True confessions coming up. He looked like the cross between a pimp and a pastor, bro. Oh God, he do. He a pastor pimp. You are the pastor. You're my soul. Hey, Steve Wilkos, man. I used to watch that show a lot. This is like an ad. What is this, man? So the question Turn is, off is all are you ads, wild enough? Am I wild enough for you? You haven't seen a, a feather of wild. I might just want something that can handle me. Are you a dirty girl? Sure. Uh -huh. Easy, horn dog. She didn't mean with you. Especially after hearing about your little girlfriend. I think that Emery kind of seemed reserved for the whole day, so I'm not sure whether or not he was open to me as far as, like, this other girl that's in his life. At the bar, I told Jen that yeah, I was... she low-key had the... Those words were, like, low-key saying that she'll take him from her, whoever that girl is. Well, she said whatever girl's in his life, like, she's ready to take him, bro. On God, she was. Dating somebody else, um so that she could know where I'm coming from and know that I wasn't really feeling her. Emery telling me that he wasn't interested in like anything serious, that's that's not very attractive to me. I think I can definitely be the aggressor in certain situations, but tonight 
I didn't feel compelled to be that guy. I don't think Emery is quite wild enough for me. I don't know if he was holding back a little bit tonight. I don't think Jen and I are very compatible. I don't really see Emery as someone I would go out on a second date with. I don't think there's going to be a second date with Jen. Damn, that's crazy how they both was like, I don't think it would be a second date, but they both was like making out, though. That's crazy. Like, I feel like she was a little too aggressive for my boy here. She screamed, like, over-aggressiveness. Like, <laughs> I don't know. And well, I guess they all can't be classic romances. Hey, we're only human. All right, coming up, we've got a dater with some freak and some funk, and he lets it all hang out in his true confession. Funky, next. Bro, these ads gotta go. I can't wait till I get ads to my shit, for sure, for sure. That definitely brings some flavor to their day. Like my man Raymond. Now this guy really got his date's attention with his rather unique personality. Of course, this was no surprise to us because we heard his freaky true confession. My style is funky. Sex is sex. Sex is he looks is natural. Talk about it's my style natural is funky. Activity. It's not an always Girl, an outdoor thing. Like it's an indoor thing. Funky, I've been enough seen that done, on. but there's whew, so much more to be done and seen and thought about and practiced and and gotten good at. What, what did I say in that other video? Oh, that video didn't come out. I made a video and something happened and like I couldn't use it, you know what I'm saying? But I was saying, man, watch out for niggas with earrings on who wear earrings, bro. I don't wear no earrings, bro. I feel like like none of the niggas I kick with wear earrings. Like, I, like earrings, man, it just screams like you a soft nigga to me. Like, <laughs> you, you, you a bitch nigga to me like for you, you wearing earrings as as freaky as freaky is well if someone is is very beautiful body conscious and a virgin i would avoid that like, that's kind of like michael jordan going all out on a rookie you say he was a virgin a lot of my cooking uh, is in the the barest of clothing freaky is as freaky as freaky is <laughs> Yo, I need to get away nah, nah. I ain't never gone back in a video, but yeah. I might have to go back on that one. What I am, and that's hold on. A lot of my cooking uh, is in the, the barest of clothing. Freaky is as <laughs> freaky as freaky is. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I gotta show that to my wife, bro. <laughs> I gotta show. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, he might be a freak. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge. Thanks for watching. Yo, Blind Day, it's still funny, man. Uh, like the content. <laughs> did, I even say, did I even say that whole sentence? If you like the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, man. I'm doing this, man. It's a bonus video. I'm about to do like three more videos after this uh, just so I can be consistent, man. It's consistent mode. You feel me? We getting this done on a, on our way to a thousand subs, man. And realize it's not really just me. When you when you sub in, you, get, you know what I'm saying? It's us. We we about to reach a thousand, you know what I'm saying? I hope that you go ahead. If you wanted to be a YouTuber, man, you can do it, bro. Like, it's not like you can't do it. You can do anything you really put your mind to. You know, I, I'm just happy with the life I have, honestly. Which is, I guess it can be a, a sad thing because a lot of people be like, you need more ambition, you know, which is true. But you don't want to be too ambitious because you'll never be satisfied in life. You know, you'll never be happy. I feel like having too much ambition really kills happiness. Honestly, it really does, you know? But I'm going to do this grind. We're going to get it, man. I know we can. It's easy. Let's do it, man. You feel me? Deuces.